hi guys in this video we're gonna start learning hooks so basically hooks is a function that lets you use reacts feature without using classes so you don't have to use class actually you cannot use hooks inside class so yeah so it's for using hooks you can use inside only a functional component now we're gonna see there are many types of hooks also you can create hooks on your own and we're gonna see these things in our lecture video so first of all the restriction that we got that uh, you cannot use hooks inside a class now uh, what these hooks provides like what this reacts hooks provide now react hooks provide you with the uh, state react like you can use hooks for using the state you can use hooks for the uh, props lifecycle methods so these all are we're gonna cover in our later video so in our in this first video of, of our hooks we're gonna see the hooks that is use state how can we use this use state for hooking with to the ho hooking to the react state now back to my code now in here i haven't created anything so i have just created a folder called components so inside this uh, component folder i'm going to create a new file such that we're gonna see or i'm going to demonstrate this uh, um, use state hooks now again i'm going to create a file that is counter.js now in our counter.js first of all i'm just going to use import react from react now from here on i'm not going to create any class component because we have we are in a level that we can create only a functional component and we can write the code now in our counter functional component we are going to write or we're going to return the SX code in here. So first I'm going to use a div and again closing div. Again a div and again a closing div. Now inside a closing div, I'm going to create a new H1 tag. And again, I'm going to close it. Now inside this uh, increase by one, I'm just going to uh, write a text called increase by one such that uh, whenever you click on this button you will see the amount to be increased or the number to be increased now what we need in here I'm just going to import it right so for importing here I'm just going to use this export uh, default for default what's happening yeah export default counter now in here I'm just going to import it in our app.js in here I'm just going to use counter yeah uh, we haven't imported it okay uh, we have imported it right now in here i'm just going to give some styling in here oh we don't need it right yeah we don't need it any styling in here so just i'm going to demonstrate right so just go to your counter.js now in here what we need we're gonna use this use state hook and as the name suggests use state is a hook that is given by react so basically any hook that is started by use is a hook okay so inside this use state you're gonna provide the initial value now this initial value in here first of all i'm just going to give any primitive value that you wanna give like any number string yeah number and string and in the later video we're gonna see that you can also provide an object but we're gonna see in the next video okay so in here 
what does this mean now if i just console it just consoling it here console.log array i'm just going to save it and just open this console in here now inside this console as you can see in here that we got an array right so in first element we have the data we have the initial value or just call it uh, data right and the second one is a function that is a dispatch function like as we have seen in our redux that it's gonna dispatch an action so yeah so i'm just going to destructure the data in here so the first one is this count one i just given here a count so just given here count now inside this count mm, yeah so inside this count uh sorry after that second element is a count set count now this is a function right now what we can do next is that for showing the data what we can do in here that we can use a string interpolation in here so so i'm just going to show the data in here but just by using count one count now what we can do for like whenever you click on here it's going to dispatch an action right so in here i'm just going to use this on click and you can just give in a uh, you can make your own function and just call it or just i'm going to call it here just for simplicity i'm just using a set count and count plus one now this is done and if i just click on it as you can see here that uh, the count is increasing so what happened that whenever you click on this this set count will be uh dispatch between the two renders right the initial render and the final render says that we got this data now again there is part that like uh, this is a one uh, user state this is a one state now what happens that when you want to create a new counter right like you want to you uh, create a new counter for two and so you cannot use the same thing right here like for this part you have to use count plus two now if we just uh, click it you can see that the same thing happening in two places we don't need it need this so what we can do we can create one more use state right so we can create a new user state in here and just give it a set count to and again use state zero for here now in here you can just give a count to and here set count to now in here if i just click on it here you can see the same thing is not happening here because as you can see that the code okay okay oh this is wrong you have to give uh, give it like this yeah now it is correct now if we just uh, increase as you can see that this is not dependent on this this these two comp uh, this two component is independent of each other so whenever this uh, component will re-render what happens that it will go through the four and five line of code okay the number four line of code and five line of code not uh, yeah so it will go up to down and it will re-render the page again and again so this is how this uh, use state works for any primitive values like number and string now we're gonna see in our next video how can we do the same thing uh, for a form like whenever you use and a first name and last name how can we do that so yeah so stay tuned for the next video that's all thanks